Hey everyone, Sarah here. So I'm going to refresh my work bullet journal and here's some of the stickers that I use and these are the David Allen methodology stickers. So next actions, waiting ons, inboxes, that kind of thing. So what I'm really going to do here is just migrate all of my, the kind of the next actions I haven't been able to do yet. So I have March, next actions in May or April next actions that I just wanted to bring all together into one list so I could just migrated them basically over into the June section if you will of my <coughs> bullet journal so here are my next action stickers and I'm just going to set up four pages because um, I knew I had a lot that I had to bring over and then also just to make some room for this month and I use the next action list as really just the area to keep track of all the things that I that I have to do. And maybe some of these are time sensitive and maybe they're not. Um, but when I'm doing my weekly processing, I will kind of identify those and schedule them in. But it's really just a running kind of tally of all the things I have to do. And a next action could be just anything. It's just something I don't want to lose sight on. Um, and yeah, so I really just kind of, if I have to create a project plan, my next action will be create a project plan. But I wouldn't have like a whole list of next actions to the project, but that would be in like my project plan. But it might be the next up thing. Um, so there was my April <coughs> kind of section and I'm just really bringing them all over just so I can have a like a fresh, set of next actions if you will so like some of these projects so rules for CRM that's part of a project plan that I'm working on but it's something that I have to do and it's a little bit delayed and the project actually may be getting canceled but I'm just leaving it on there on my radar because I know it, it's my thing to do and I actually will put regular stuff on here um, like call the orthodontist I'll throw that stuff in here it's it's really just a catch-all for anything that I have to do in areas, all areas of my life, really. So like uh, mind map par partial order project. So that's really me kicking off like a mini project of something for me to do. And it's really just data mining and data sets and kind of building macros and all the fun things that go along with Excel. But <clears throat> I just kind of have to wrap my head around what is necessary for the project so I'm just making it a next action to do that and then I could build out a project plan for that so these are just all the things I'm just bringing them all over refreshing them some of them are canceled some of them are done and it's just to have that fresh mindset of where things are to start off June fresh because you all know that I'm my my June goal for the month is kind of the mid-year reset so I'm just checking in on everything that I was hoping to do or committed to do or things that need to be adjusted uh, and I'm just bringing them in so this is like vacations look at my cat needs shots you know so it's really just a whole data like mind dump if you will but these could just they could be a task or something larger um, but it's just something for me to do and I do have that privacy bar in there because some of the stuff is work related and I'm just trying to kind of maintain some kind of privacy with those things. So I really use my work bullet journal as, <clears throat> as, a, as an area where I just keep track of all the things I need to do. I might do some brain dumps in there, uh, some mind mapping of just trying to figure out how to structure a project or like structure a cadence or anything to just to keep track of. I'll also build out like a project plan in there and it's really just high level. If it was a super huge project or a formal project, I would build out like a Microsoft project type of a project plan or I would use Trello or something like that. Um, but these are just things that are more than one task to do or maybe um, cross-functional type of work I have to do <clears throat> so anyhow I will um, 
you know, I'll just keep kind of bringing, excuse me, oh my God, what am I saying? I'll just keep basically, um, I'm losing track of what I'm saying here. I'm so annoyed with myself. So I was saying that I need to, I would use it for like my meeting minutes and I have the projects list in the section of here so you'll see that area and I'll use that in conjunction with my brain tickler and so in my I'm trying to keep the pages private because they are meeting minutes for some of my meetings and in the meeting minutes I might throw a next action in there <clears throat> and then I'll go and I'll actually bring it into the next action list or something there's really just I just like a list of all the things I have to do that's really all it comes down to and I think it's easy to, it's easier to manage all of these things in order to um, just be, stay productive, really. And so here I just have like a next action to do to build out different routines for work. And, um, and I was like, oh, I don't wanna write all these, but then it bothered me how it looked. So I actually went back and rewrote them in later. So that next action was actually me, I realized it was something I was waiting on, so I just brought it over into the waiting on list. <clears throat> and on the waiting on list or the inbox, some people use a post-it and they'll just write a post-it and stick it in there. The only reason I kind of bring these over month to month is just to keep, it just is that going through the motion of updating it helps keep it front and center in my mind and it also helps keep just it cleaned out I don't I don't know so maybe projects get canceled or initiatives get canceled and I can just delete them or pull the post it off or scratch it out but I just there's something about rewriting them each month <clears throat> it just really helps me kind of keep it front and center it helps me keep focused on what's important and uh, so that's really why I manage it that way but you could throw a post-it in there or write it in there you could do whatever you want it's just a different list a different area of the book just for you to keep track of that
So here I'm just showing you that I kind of refresh the tabs on my work bullet journal just to make it easier to find stuff basically. Um, so that's all I'm showing you there. So thanks for watching everyone and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.